Hi guys, welcome to another video. My name is Hannah. If this is your first time in my channel, I'm 18 and I'm from the Philippines and I typically do vlogs, but I've been doing a lot of beauty videos recently because... You know what? Actually, I made my channel so that I can make beauty videos, but then since I started out with vlogs, I was like labeled a vlogger. So if you're wondering like, why is she suddenly doing all of these makeup videos? I love makeup. I'm actually like a huge makeup enthusiast and I, I hoard makeup. And today, I'm doing a full face first impressions review on the brand Glossier. And I'm particularly interested in this brand because they're all for no makeup makeup looks and skincare plus makeup. So um, that's basically the only makeup that I actually use. Or when I put on makeup, I use the bare minimum because I really don't like my face feeling like cakey and stuff. I've been like anticipating to open these freaking boxes because I watched like a million Glossier review videos. Everything that I bought um, is like for a full face of makeup. So. I'm really excited to try it out. Just a disclaimer, this video is not sponsored. I bought everything by myself. And with that said, it is pretty much on the pricier side of makeup. It's like in, in between drugstore and high end. So if you're watching this video and you wanna try out Glossier as well, but you're in a budget, I will give away at the end for you because I also want you guys to try the products that I try, of course. So. Um, yeah, just stay tuned for the end if you want to join the giveaway. I actually didn't buy these makeup items straight from the Glossier website because they only ship, I think, to the US and Canada. So I'm not from the US and Canada, I'm from the Philippines, so I bought them from Instagram shops. There's so many Instagram shops that you can find um, that sell to the Philippines, so just search up literally hashtag Glossier Philippines or Glossier PH. I got from two Instagram shops and I'm so excited. Okay, wait, okay. Ooh. It's the pink box. Pink box? No. Iconic pink baggie. So do we do a haul? Or... So I removed the makeup from the packaging and... Oh, I'm sorry. I, I forgot to mention that I'm not wearing any makeup. So if you were like, wow, Hannah, you look a bit tired. That's why I'm not wearing any makeup. And I just woke up, so don't judge me. So I got all of the makeup over here. I took it out of the plastic bag so that I don't have to make noise. Every single time I take it out, it's going to be like... You know what I mean? I got this super cute headband from a fan. I don't remember who I got it from because I got it from my meet and greet, which was like last year. So whoever this is from, thank you so much. It's super cute. Look guys, it's like flowers. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna be starting out with the Perfecting Skin Tint. It says in their website that it is more skin, less makeup. It evens out discoloration and leaves your face looking toned, smooth, and dewy. Smooth over moisturized skin with fingertips. With fingertips, okay. Blend upwards and outwards for sheer coverage and instant dewiness. Okay, okay I gotta shake this first. Okay, medium is kind of light. I mean, it's not my color. I thought medium would be my color. But yeah, oh my god, it feels like a moisturizer. Do you see, it's like a little light for me. So I'm just gonna put that on one side of my face so that you guys could see the difference if there is any because I don't even know if there's going to be a difference because it said that it's really just supposed to have super sheer coverage. I don't know if you could see, but this side of my face has less redness. It looks as if it has less redness. In person, this place has more redness. So, I mean, I guess I think it works. I really don't like using my hands to apply makeup, so I'm just gonna use my beauty blender for the other side of my face. It feels like a moisturizer, to be honest. Like, there's barely any coverage. I mean, that's what I asked for, right? So let me just use my hands, Never mind. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing it wrong. I'm just gonna use my hands. I think you can see me a bit better now, so this is how my skin looks after the perfecting skin tint. It's just um, a bit more evened out now and has less redness. From what I noticed, that's how it looks. Now getting the Glossier Stretch Concealer in the shade Medium. I'm checking their website and it says, This is a new type of concealer with elastic micro waxes that move with your face instead of caking on top of it. And it has nourishing oils that give a dewy and glowing finish. It says to use fingertips to press and blend into moisturized skin. It's buildable, add more for extra coverage. Okay, so I'm gonna use my fingers again. Wait, I need to sneeze. I'm just taking the stretch concealer on my finger. I'm just tapping that onto my skin. Okay, it's like an okay color. I think it like, oh wow, that's white. On camera, it's so white. Super like dewy, which is what I like. I really like dewy skin, but it's, it's a little bit too light for me. So guys, if you're any darker than me or if you're the same shade as me, 
um, I do not recommend getting medium if you're like I think Mariana skin I think medium is too light for us so get a darker shade if you are planning to purchase this yourself oh we're gonna try out the balm.com this is a universal skin salve and it basically is just like a lip balm I used this already before. I used a different like flavor, I guess. The flavor that I got was like birthday cake. I already know that this is a really good lip balm. So, ooh, it's tinted. Look at the color. It's like really red. Whoa. Okay, oh my God, I love the smell. It smells like cherry airheads. It's not gonna be my lip color, but I just thought that I should moisturize my lips first before I get into the rest of my face. I can't function without my brows, so I'm gonna be taking Glossy Boy Brow, and this is like one of their best sellers. This is in the shade Brown. <laughs> this is what it looks like. And it just says Boy Brow. The thing about this is I don't actually like just put on brow gel. So um, I'm gonna put on just brow gel on one side of my brow and then the other side I'm gonna fill it in and then I'm gonna put brow gel. I'll zoom you in. It has super little tint but it feels as if it's really like locking my brows in place. I always fill in my brows so I'm gonna do that on this side of my face and I'm just going to use the boy brow as like something that would set my brows because that's what I typically do anyway so Oh, this is the I Love You 2 Micro Eyebrow Pencil from Happy Skin. It's my favorite at the moment. Okay, okay, this makes sense. This makes sense. I looked at their website and it says it's just a grooming pomade. So that means that if you just want your brows to look a bit more groomed, this is what you use. So it's not like supposed to fill in your brows like crazy or give you like those Instagram brows. It's really just supposed to be natural on your face. So um, I guess that was like pretty normal that I filled in my brows first and then I used this to groom it. You could do like that messy brow look which is super in right now zoom you out ah. okay so those are what my brows look like what i would use for it is just to set my brows in place since i really like that messy brow look and that that gets pretty achieved you know it looks a bit more natural and it also lengthens the brow hair oh my god i'm super excited for this so this is like what everybody talks about this is the cloud paint and this is in the shade dusk Everybody talks about this cloud paint. The thing is, I'm pretty dark, so I don't know how this is going to turn out for me. I'm gonna say it's a pretty light color. I mean, I think it's a pretty light color considering what I saw online. So hopefully it does something to my skin. I'm gonna just put it on my hand. Okay, stop. Oh my god. Okay, I think I put too much. Pillowy gel formula and is designed for the most user-friendly cheek color in existence. If you can finger paint, you can cloud paint. Ooh, that's so cute. Simply dab into your cheeks wherever you please. It's seamless, sheer, and buildable. Okay, so I'm gonna use my fingers and I'm just going to take a little amount. I really don't know how much you need. And I'm just gonna smile and put that. Oh my gosh. Doesn't it just make me look like I'm blushing? So it's super easy to blend. I'm gonna put some in my nose so that I look I'm a bit more, you know, tan. Do you see it on camera? It's like I just tanned. I just went to the beach. I'm gonna be using their eyeshadow base. So this is what they call the lid star. It's super simple. So it's basically just a like a sheer, like an eye glow. I mean, just like a color on the lids. So let me move you in again. We can both like judge this. Oh my god, it's like glitter. There's barely any color. Like, there's actually like zero color. I think it's just because I'm just really dark. But it feels as if there's like no color at all. Am I just freaking out? Am I like delusional that there's no color? The color slip is not the nicest color for Morana skin because it is a bit too light. So your, your, your eyes just kind of look really bright. But I feel like if you wanted to use this oh my god let's use a cloud paint for like eyeshadow okay. so yes this is what my eyes look right now i actually really like it i used the cloud paint on the outermost part of the eye and then the lid star on the middle part so basically since the lid star is a pretty light color if you have um darker skin or you have morena skin like me i recommend you to just use it as like um a shimmering eye base and then just put something on the outermost part of the eye i believe that glossier does not have um a mascara which is kind of sad 
because I, I really like mascara so I'm just going to put that on right now guys this happy skin eyelash curler is like a savior one of the best purchases that I got I think it was only like 400 pesos it literally fits the Filipino eye like Asian eye super well look at this look at that look it got all of my eyelashes like literally none was left behind i'm taking the i'm the one mascara by happy skin also wow this is literally like happy skin and glossier but guys happy skin is like the counterpart of glossier in the philippines it's like skincare but it's makeup and this one literally just lengthens my eyelashes it's super like natural i put all of the cream products on my face and i'm going to be using the glossier wowder this is the weightless finishing powder this is in the shade light medium it says on their website that it's not powder. Okay, it's not powder. Never mind. It's Wowder for non-dewy days. Wowder will cut shine, blur the appearance of pores, and set makeup. It won't leave a chalky finish, or it won't cake into fine lines, and it won't flatten the skin's texture. Or announce its presence in photographs. Wow, no flashback. I love it. There's like a protective film. Oh, okay, that's messy. Like, I don't actually wear powder <laughs> under my eyes just to set that. So looking at it closer, the lid star actually settled on the dry patches of my eye. Um, it's not the cutest look. It makes me look like I didn't blend in my eyeshadow. So, I mean, okay, just saying that. I'm just saying what I observe. As for the powder, I mean, I'm not shook. I don't actually like powder, so I don't think I should, like, judge that too much. I don't actually like powder in general, but this apparently it's not a powder. This is a powder. It got rid of the dew under my eyes and in my forehead. So I guess it works. I'm not really sure. I'm going to be using the... Ooh! Their highlighter. This is the Holoscope Dew Effect Highlighter. I got the shade Topaz. If I get this shade, it might look nice and like bronzy on my skin. So that's why I got this. So it's a highlighter stick that glides on for a dewy glow. Glide directly onto face and a half halo around each eye and tap lightly with fingertips to blend. Okay, so basically it is for moisture and the outer part is for like sheen. So it, that they said just to like put it straight to the face. Did you see that? Did it do anything? Oh wow, that's nice. That's a nice color. Ooh, it's like bronzy. Do you see that? Personally, I like my highlight to be beaming, but apparently this is just for like sheen. I'm gonna put some in my nose too. I really like highlights, so I'm gonna put more of that. There, it literally looks like I'm like sweating a bit. <laughs> the last thing that I have over here is their Generation G Sheer Matte Lipstick. And I got this in the shade Crush. It's the kind of lip color that gives the look and finish of just blotted lips. Okay, cool. If you guys watch my makeup tutorials, you can see that every single time I put lipstick, I blot it out. So perfect. Maybe I don't have to blot this one out. Oh, okay, I get what they mean. It's like super subtle. Okay, I like the color, but I just made it a habit to blot. <laughs> Super diffused. I really like this color and it's very moisturizing on the lips. So it's not like a thick lipstick. I really do not like lipsticks that are thick. It looks like I just ate a cherry or it looks like I ate something spicy and then my lips started like having an allergic reaction. I don't know. I like the look. It's really cute. And this is actually all of my makeup. Is that all I got? Yeah. This is like the, the entire makeup look. It's like barely anything, but I really enjoyed a lot of their products. So let's talk about each of them. Starting out with the Priming Moisturizer. This is one of my favorite um, products. So I really recommend this. 10 out of 10 would recommend because it's really good for dry skin and it also allows for a good base for makeup. If you're the type of person who just wants your skin to be a bit more even and to reduce redness, this is a good one for you. But for those full coverage girls out there, I'm so sorry, but I do not recommend this product since that is really not what it's made for. This stretch concealer is not the best shade for me considering I do have Mariana skin. I thought that medium would be a good color but if there is another darker color um following medium i would get that instead this one barely has any coverage so um personally i like my fit me concealer that is my favorite concealer and it's my shade so maybe after football season i'd be able to use this but i mean whatever it was a good thing to try i really like the boy brow for just setting your brows and for keeping it in place and also it also lengthens the brow hairs and makes it look a bit more natural for those girls out there who are like me and who lack in the brow department, I recommend putting on some 
something under your brow first before putting this so that this one can just groom it but i really like this product i actually think i'm going to use this a lot more and i like i like how the packaging is really small so i can bring this around it's like a travel size because my current one is like really big so if you compare the two it's like just the more travel friendly one so yeah moving on i love 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 love, love the cloud paint this is something that's super natural on the face so easy to put on and you can also use it for eyeshadows. So um, this is super versatile and there are many other shades that you can get as well. So I super recommend the cloud paint. I love it. Mwah. For the bomb.com, I really like the cherry scent. It really reminds me of airheads. And I really like the nice wash of color. So I would totally recommend this for those who don't like lipstick like me and who typically just put lip balm. What I actually used to do is I used to put um, lip tint and then lip balm, but this is like two in one. So I really like this product and I would recommend this. I wasn't so wowed by the wowder, mainly because I do not have grease on my face. So maybe that's why. And I really like dewy skin. So maybe if this is just to like set the face, um, that would be fine. I really love this. I really enjoy this together with the cloud paint It's like a really good mix and it's really bronzy especially for Mirena skin So if you do have skin that's similar to mine, I would recommend the shade Topaz. It glided on it was super easy to blend and I super love the shade Especially the moisturizing thing in the middle. It just makes me feel as if my skin is not getting um, you know like glittery because some Highlighters make your skin look glittery and dry, but this one does not, so I really enjoyed this one. And the last thing that I used was the Generation G Sheer Lipstick, and I really like this because it's like a super good color. The color that I got was Crush, by the way, if you forgot. It's actually perfect with the Cherry Lip Balm since they're like practically the same color. And if you're the type of person who really does not like lipstick, this is super good since it's also super moisturizing. It doesn't feel like it's all pigment. Overall, these were my four favorites. I love the Cloud Paint, the Priming Moisturizer, the Cherry Balm, Dot com lip balm and the generation G lipstick so if I were to recommend any of the products that I use these are the four ones so you made it to the last part of this video maybe that's because you want to join this giveaway well I don't blame you I actually really loved the glossy products that I use so these are the products that I'm going to be giving away I'm gonna be giving away cloud paint in the shade haze generation G lipstick in the shade zip the bomb.com lip solve and this one is the original version and lastly the lid star in the shade slip those are the products that i'm going to be giving away to you guys so all you have to do is you just have to subscribe to this channel because obviously this video is for my subscribers and comment down below why you want these glossier products and use the hashtag hannah glossier giveaway well it rhymes hannah glossier giveaway and then i'm just gonna choose you on this date and i'm gonna announce that on my twitter which is over here Go follow me on Twitter or just be on the lookout on my Twitter on that date so that you know if you won because there were many instances wherein somebody won and then they didn't reply so I had to change the winner which that, that kind of sucks especially if I would join a giveaway and I won like I thought I won and then I didn't win because I didn't reply and I didn't check on the same day. <sighs> Guys, I don't want that to happen to you so please just check your Twitter on the day that I gave. That is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please join my giveaway. I really love it when I give you guys products that I also like, so you can try it out. And also, I really love doing makeup videos, so if you want me to do reviews on other brands, especially local Filipino brands, I would love to do that. So please just leave a comment down below with the hashtag video, or you can also tweet me with the hashtag video, and then I would check that out so that I know what you guys wanna watch. So for example, if you like these kinds of videos, which is like, review videos or makeup videos just give me a like down below so that i know and so that i know that i should make more videos i'm gonna put a poll over here because i love asking you guys questions and getting your feedback on my channel so just click that and give me your insight so that we can um you know have a symbiotic relationship wherein i make videos for you and you give me ideas so it's like mutualistic you know what i'm talking about anyway sorry bio is on my head i need to go to school i'm late so i gotta skedaddle out of this frame but I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye. Overall, my favorite. Overall. Overall. And I particularly and and I particularly am interested. I can't say particularly. And I am particularly particularly blah, 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 particularly.